We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Purdy off the play fake. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. Play action here on the first play from scrimmage. They want to see how the linebackers are going to react. Are they looking to stop the run? Or are they going to sit back in coverage? A really nice job there of going in attack mode early. And they pick up a quick first down. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back-to-back. -back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second down and four. McCaffrey running up the middle, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because, to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. Purdy from the gun on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 36. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty can make moves make people miss but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down that's some of the benefits of that speed not just outrunning people in the secondary that led to a really nice game tackle made there by Buda Baker that's a strong pickup right there on first down and as this drive goes on we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will counting down toward the midway point in quarter one Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. And Chris Barnes there on the stop. 
A one-yard gain can look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. We are watching a runner having a really nice game. Carrying it very well. Vision is excellent, but boy, look at the help he's getting. Offensive line, I think they're pretty eager to block for him. The 13th play now coming on this opening drive. Here's third down. Back to throw, Purdy. That's to the pylon and incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick is indeed good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. And all in all, a pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy, and then you get your aerial attack going as well, so your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now both up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Murray now on first down. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them. And that's why they get after them early. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long-distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. On first and 10, here's Murray. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. Here's a second and eight. To throw, it's Murray. Look at right sideline, that's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. From the gun, Murray. 
Here caught by McBride. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. Murray a give. This is Connor. About three yards there to the 27. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try to run for it with Connor. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. But we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit. But how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical downhill running. Throwing on first down is Murray. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, It'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. This offense has a lot of weapons, but you know they like to look Connor's way down here near the end zone. He's got that rugged running style, and that's a nice job there to hold him to a short pickup. From the two now, second and goal. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Elijah Higgins. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second... That's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. On second down, McCaffrey. Nifty footwork at the 45. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. 
50 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. They go play action here, Purdy. Going right side here, and that's complete. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Purdy will set up to throw it here. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 15-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Purdy will look to throw again here. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game, but after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. Purdy now to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. This just 32 yards officially from the right hash. And this one is right through. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. Taken at the goal line. Got a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And just inside of a minute left, Charles, they got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this, but you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit, but you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. 
there's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. Second down and eight. Murray going to throw. And this one is incomplete. Well, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Jones goes diving, and he's got it. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game, and they hit that one there for big yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Murray's throw complete to McBride. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Again, they'll throw with Murray. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Cardinals out in front. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. This fielded right at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Here's Murray. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. In motion is Dorch. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And that one blown up quickly. 
as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Excellent effort defensively. Tackle for loss goes to Leonard Floyd. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Now Murray. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. They bring a man off the corner that time, and he gets home for a loss of six. That would be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fielded just inside the 20. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Purdy to throw it on first down. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 38 now, here's second down and two. The same target, same result. It's Kittle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. A few moving pieces on that play because that was an RPO, was it not? It was, but one important piece that didn't move incorrectly, the offensive line. Because when you're running this play, as he continued down the line of scrimmage, sometimes the lineman can wander downfield. And if you're more than a yard downfield, it's illegal to throw the football at that point. But they held their... And now off to the races, down the right side. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff, and when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't, but also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the strain, the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. And he is going to lose yardage here. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. And this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. A second down throw for Purdy. Throwing left side, it's complete. Touchdown! A great play there. 29 yards and the 49ers have taken the lead here in this third quarter so a very strong first drive in the second half Charles as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead and they were pretty purposeful there weren't they measured in their approach but boy they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field Moody good with the extra point and that gives them a three-point lead So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And he returns this to the 22. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. 
Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had... Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the return will stop right around the 25. There's Purdy on first and 10. Going for it all. And that is incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Here's Purdy. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds. Incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. The throwing here, Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. 85 yards rushing for him now to this point. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Second and goal from the one. Again McCaffrey. And this time he's into the end zone for a 49er touchdown. Well, we talk a lot about Christian McCaffrey and what he can do in the open field, and it's easy to gloss over how tough he can be to stop near the goal line. And he shows you just how tough he is on that carry as he takes it into the end zone. Moody good with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. Now Murray off play action. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. 
There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Murray now running left off the option. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Unable to corral him. He fights through, and they move this all the way down to the nine. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg, and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little run pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Connor up the middle. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the ten down to the six. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. To throw is Murray. Flush to his right. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Purdy now to throw off the play action. And that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. 
They'll bring a receiver in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? <laughs> Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound. Now, look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And the cards are right back in this football game. They start to drive with Connor, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That play ended for a net loss thanks to Javon Hargrave. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Murray. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. To throw, it's Murray. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. You know, I was going to ask you if maybe they should surprise and pass the ball, but where they're at on the field, I think keep it on the ground, right? I like where you're going with this one because field position is going to determine these play calls. And backed up where they are, I don't even think about putting the ball in the air. I tell my running backs, grasp the football, and I tell my offensive line, don't allow any leaks so they get hit immediately when we hand it off. This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Meanwhile, Murray's throw here into the hands of Jones. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big game. Here comes second down at five. Now Murray. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him. 
all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Murray to throw. Screen pass to Connor. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Here we go. This is fourth down. They'll run for it with Connor. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. They'll come up now, third and three. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. It's not easy playing the corner, is it? A lot of times you got to defend against the pass, but sometimes you have to play against the run. How about the job he did there, crashing inside? to make that tackle for a loss. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to perhaps salt this one away. And his kick is absolutely perfect. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here's first and 10. To throw is Murray. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. But Charles, we were treated to an excellent game today, capped off by that second-half comeback. This was a joy to watch. Entertaining for us. Not so much to the team who led at halftime. And now is leaving here, knowing that they let a win slip through their fingers. Tough one for them to carry home. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You